morning guys welcome back to my channel today i have a vlog for you this video is sponsored by squarespace don't worry penny's already had her breakfast i'm not starving her dean fed her early this morning and then she goes back to bed so today i actually am up early because i need to go check my PO box and then i actually have an appointment with an endocrinologist because i have been diagnosed with gestational diabetes i have to film a makeup tutorial later i want to do it when there's like look how dark it is <laughs> when there's some better lighting so i think i'm just gonna go no makeup to my appointment today and we have to wear masks now anyway what's the point like i haven't vlogged in a really long time i think my last vlog that i put up was when stage three restrictions started and we're back again i live in regional victoria so we i feel like we haven't been hit we well we definitely haven't been hit as hard as melbourne the city and surrounding suburbs kind of thing so we are very very fortunate that we only just got into stage three restrictions last week and now uh, just over halfway in my pregnancy, which is really exciting. However, December is still really far away. <laughs> like, baby, can you hurry up? Like, not in come early, but like, oh, can time go a bit faster? I'm just so excited to meet her. Everyone's excited to meet her. Look at me like crying now. I've also got to film a pregnancy update video because I haven't done one in like two weeks. I'm so far behind with them because I wanted to wait until I announced to start putting them out, which I don't understand how people are still getting confused about that, why they're so far behind. I just want to say, that you can hear Penny chewing in the background. <laughs> Being diagnosed with gestational diabetes isn't the be all and the end all. I know a lot of people kind of go into a bit of a meltdown when they're diagnosed. And like, I mean, I can't say that I went into a meltdown, but I was just like, oh, this is really unfair. There's kind of like a few different ways well, two different ways. So you take, there's a fasting level that you're meant to be under, and then there's a level that you're meant to be under every two hours after you eat. And my problem is my fasting level. So some days it's under, some days it's over. Today it was way over. I don't know why. With the levels um, that you take after you've eaten, you can somewhat control that with diet, but the fasting levels, they're really out of my control and i do want to point out that if you have been diagnosed with gestational diabetes it is out of your control it doesn't matter your age your weight your anything anyone can get it like it, it honestly doesn't matter it's all to do with hormones and your placenta and it's nothing that you can really control if you're going to get it or not so I have um, a follow-up appointment with an endocrinologist today hopefully a different one because I didn't really like the first one that I had a phone consult with he was a bit um he was a little bit harsh he actually upset me quite a bit I'll just take a sip of my tea, wait for that update. I don't know if I'm gonna edit it out, but like I did an update where I was just like crying the whole time because of what this endocrinologist said. Anyway, so yeah, I have my appointment today and um, I am probably gonna be put on insulin, which will just be an overnight one to help with my fasting levels. I am gonna finish my cup of tea and then get going. <laughs> You're very cheeky. You always have to help me, don't you? My little helper. Oh, you're very cute. I just literally got out of my car without my mask on and then I saw someone else wearing theirs and I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> I have two packages from my PO box. Um, I have a feeling they might be something for baby Conti. So I am going to save them because I'm going to do an unboxing video. So thank you so much for sending her some little gifts. But yeah, you guys are so kind. It's now 9.30. I've just been waiting in my car because 
I called and they had me booked in with the same guy that I spoke to last time that really upset me. I said, oh, actually when I booked it in, I wanted to see um, someone else. Anyway, talked to the endocrinologist over the phone. We did everything. Um, they're setting up a pack for me to go and get some insulin and uh, setting up an appointment with a diabetes educator on how to do the insulin how to do it <laughs> really technical crystal this camera is going to run out of battery but they can fit me in with the diabetes educator today which is great so i just need to go get my insulin and um hopefully it's easier than what i think because i was actually like really scared of taking it Ugh, you just deal with it it's fine okay so it is the afternoon i've just filmed my makeup tutorial i actually had to set up a new setup because I got rid of my last one because we need to make room for the nursery. So this is my <laughs> makeshift. This is the front room, like the front living room. So yeah, like this is what I just quickly set up. This room is actually really dark and it's a very gloomy day. So hopefully the footage turns out okay. It's an Instagram, like a little Instagram tutorial. This is my new office that I'm sharing with Dean. So this is in the back room. I have actually filmed a couple of like pregnancy update videos in this room. It's a little bit echoey though, so I do apologize about that. So as I mentioned earlier, this video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. So Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you build your blog, your online store, an online presence, whatever it may be, whatever business you are in. You can build like a CV through there. I do personally have a blog and I have an online store. I'm currently using different platforms, but I'm looking to transfer them over to Squarespace because it makes life easier. So I have a really old blog. This is what it looks like. It is very dated. I actually had someone help me build it years ago. I think maybe like five years ago or more. The problem that I always had with this blog is it doesn't transfer well onto a phone. It's fine on desktop. Um, some of the photos are a little bit funny. They're the wrong size, which I was something that I always struggled with. Squarespace takes all of those worries away. It makes everything the right size, puts everything where it should be, and it is going to look good on a mobile or tablet or desktop, any any kind of form that you are going to see your website on, it's going to look good. The other thing that I really love about Squarespace is that they have so many online tutorials or step-by-steps. The customer service is really, really great. And it was actually so easy to find out how to transfer my information and entries from my old blog to my new one. And all I need to do is export the data and then import it into the new data. Um, I can obviously still use my same domain, which is great. I'm in the process of doing that. And I just wanted to share that with you as well. <laughs> okay. So I've imported the data. So what I did is I chose a template from like there's so many templates depending on what type of site you are building, which is so great. Um, but then of course you can customize it as well. So I have imported my data into Squarespace, the, the test site that I have going on. Also need to mention that they do have a free trial that you can sign up for. And if you do choose to sign up and, and continue your journey with Squarespace, I do have a discount for you as well. So I'll leave that down below and on the screen. Obviously something like this, it takes you a while to play around with and get used to it. Um, but there's so many, there's so many features that make it great as well. Like it's got easy analytics to get to. You can schedule posts or things to go up and play with the design and pages. Let me just show you what it looks like now. Yeah. So this is my old site with a few entries on the front page. And then this is the new site with, um, I have like a little thing here, but if I scroll down, I can see all of my entries. I last wrote, I wrote this in 2017. There's a video that goes along with this post. <laughs> so from here, I can choose some different fonts and you can just play around with it. See, so it just changes automatically on what you want it to be, which you can make it more like yourself. Yeah, I like that one. Colors. So we can edit the color palette which is something that I would definitely want to do. Custom colors. Ooh, okay, cool. So, I don't know. 
So I can change, oh yes, that looks nice. So I think I'm happy with that kind of neutral color theme. So we save that. That already looks so much better. It already looks so much more modern than what it did before. Like, oh, I can't believe I left it like that for so long. I'm so excited. I'll have to write up some entries and start using it. But I do really love how it actually links your social media accounts. So I can link in my Instagram um, and have that pop up as well, which will look really, really good. So I need to go and film another video for tomorrow, actually. Actually. So I'm gonna quickly go and do that and then edit it and it's already 340 Dean shouldn't be too far from being home. Then I guess by then we'll be cooking dinner <laughs> So I did put in a request that he goes to the supermarket and gets tacos or you know stuff for tacos So hopefully he gets that because I don't even know where my phone is. He's probably trying to call me <laughs> Okay, so I've just finished filming and Dean was doing something out in the backyard and Penny couldn't go and now This is what she does before he gets home like she pines for him. Hey Pam, where's daddy? <gasps> She just gets so excited Hello. when she, when he comes home. Oh, she got to get a chicky. Oh, she wanted to come outside and play with you so bad. Yeah, she was just sitting there crying while I was trying to film. Hello. How you going? How's your day? Yeah, good. Busy. Yeah. I haven't even been to the supermarket. Yet. Oh no. Pizza tonight. <laughs> no. No. Nah. Okay, so we're just playing outside with Pen. The secret is you've got to have two toys and she fetches like between them. <laughs> so you wear her out, you run her ragged. Well, I'm sorry if there's wind, but this is what our backyard looks like right now. So we've had a path put in and we've done like the driveway with gravel over there. Um, got the shed, obviously there's a path in front of the shed. And then with this grass, we just need to put in irrigation, rip it all up, kind of just start again with it um, because it is really uneven and patchy. And same with that grass over there. Uh, and then we'll probably end up ripping this grass up again. And those Telstra <laughs> fencing is just temporary so Penny doesn't eat the plants. Um, but yeah, it's looking really, really good. There's no amount of dirt, no caravan. Like it looks so nice. We just need to get a new dining setting um, as this one is our old one and we chalk painted it, but it's like coming off in the rain, which kind of gives it the rustic look, but it's like not very sturdy. So yeah, wanting to upgrade that eventually. Um, we'd love to build somewhere for the barbecue to go. We were wanting to put like a big um, pergola there and have like a, built-in barbecue kitchen type thing but we just haven't had the money for it so yeah and the sheds come first with everything in there my gosh it is so cold outside my hands are frozen I'm gonna go get changed because I've still got this crop top on underneath and it keeps like just sliding up I don't think you guys have said hello to Coco in this vlog so hi Koki I was filming my videos here and she was keeping me company. Well, she was sharing the electric throw rug with me. The heated throw rug, weren't you? You were sharing. Hey girl, you love your heated throw rug, don't you? Um, I know you guys always ask for an update. Her and Penny still don't get along. <laughs> like, Coco tolerates her, um, but if Penny comes and puts like her head up against here, Coco would be like, Meow. Give her a bit of a box, won't you? You like your space. You don't like sharing us either, do you? Because you were an only child for so long, weren't you? Well, it's about six o'clock. I'm still editing my video. Dean's gone to the supermarket, but he should be back really, really soon. I cannot stop yawning. I will admit, uh, pregnancy fatigue has hit me the last two weeks i want to say and i didn't have a nap today i <laughs> i don't know if like how many of you guys have ever filmed a video but 
it's like you have to be on and it takes a lot of energy to have that energy on camera and I filmed a few videos today and it's just it's just taking everything from me and then the baby's taking the rest <laughs> it's okay though I'm totally fine I just wish I could stop yawning you guys I just want to finish editing this video because I want to get it up tomorrow. I really should have filmed it yesterday, but um, I wasn't feeling that great yesterday. So, so I didn't do any filming yesterday. We got our little helper. Are you eating onion? It's a fall on the floor. That wouldn't be very nice. Would it? Sit down. Stay. Shake. Oh, good girl. I don't have anything for you. Sorry. Wait, what am I doing? Ding, ding. I, I'm cutting pieces of man here. Well, you're going to have to do another one for me then. Yeah. Oh, no. Just telling me about some shortages at the supermarket. I noticed the tasty grated cheese was um, stuff. Yeah, this stuff. Yeah, like all the home brand stuff. Like it was like 20 bags, I reckon. Yeah. There might have been some light, and then there's like other bags of you know the pizza base, the mozzarella, you know. Yeah. But out of just grated tasty cheese, none. And what else did you notice? Oh, ground cinnamon, none. What's everyone doing with ground cinnamon today? I got no idea. Yeah. What would you use? A lot of ground cinnamon for cinnamon tea cake maybe <laughs> is there just like a lot of cinnamon tea cake <laughs> I don't know. Or are people cinnamon still scrolls do, are people still doing a cinnamon challenge with a teaspoon Sim of Nate. cinnamon <laughs> cinnamon cinnamon <laughs> <laughs> what about meat wise was there like, oh meat wise i'm like, yeah, like <laughs> you don't put cinnamon in meat no mate. like how was the <laughs> I get it. deli section? uh no it was fine it was okay. all fine like full yeah, right. Everyone, and you went cool. at like six o'clock as well. Yeah, like it was, yeah, it's one of those times when you get there, it's busy, but by the time you walk out, it's quiet. Yeah. Like there's heaps of people walk around and I take my trolley to the register and I'm just straight But in. sometimes you can get there and there's nothing left. Like the fresh food, no, bread was, fresh bread like right. veggies and... Veggies was fine. Yeah, well... The toilet paper, oh, there's heaps of toilet paper, but like there was like, they're obviously getting low in like certain ones that they were bringing back out like the bigger packs and stuff yeah like quilting and stuff so we have our tacos yeah. nearly ready just waiting on this and the shell what do you got you got chicken thank you drop you're very cute you're very cute you're a very silly dog very silly So there's my tacos. This is how Dean does his. He smashes mm -hmm. his shells up and then does the meat, puts the meat on and then the cheese and then the lettuce and then the tomatoes and then the salsa. Where'd you get that idea from? I can't remember. I remember. Oh dear. Did Gary do it? Yep. There you go. I don't think he does it anymore. <laughs> I don't know if he has tacos anymore. We used to have them every Wednesday at their house. Was it Wednesday? Yeah, when he played soccer. Oh yeah, that's right. So, and then he just mixes it all up. Big mountain of food. And then we deal with this Dalmatian staring at the food the whole time. Look at her. She just watches the food go into our mouths. It's just torture for yourself, Pen. Just torture. Hey guys, I have just been relaxing. I've actually got a really sore back, I think from like sitting on chairs and like, yeah, <laughs> that makes no sense. Dean and I are gonna have a relaxing night on the couch as per usual. We've been watching the Umbrella Academy lately um, and it's really good. We smashed through the first season. It was really addictive and we're up to the second season now. So I just took my insulin out of the fridge. You need to take it out of the fridge 
about an hour or so before you're going to do it so I just did that and yeah it looks so bizarre doesn't it um, and I have my needle here ready to go so that'll be fun not <laughs> I did really quickly want to mention about um, a vlogger that I do watch when I was TTC going through all of that um, I found her channel and her channel is called it's Kelsey's life I'll have it listed down below she and her husband have been trying to conceive for nearly five years and I think she's based in Kansas I keep up to date with like all of her videos and she has had a rough time she's had quite a few miscarriages she's gone through IVF and they you basically they like they can't pinpoint exactly where it's going wrong for her her latest update she is seeing a new specialist which is really awesome she was on a wait list for a long time and uh, it's going to cost her a lot of money i just wanted to share her story because honestly like it breaks my heart i could cry <sighs> i think just because it's it's all just a little bit too close to my heart that i just get so upset and um obviously like i'm so grateful that we were able to get pregnant without going through ivf um not to say we didn't struggle or have problems because we did but um my heart just goes out to her and i wanted to share her journey with you guys and she did mention that she's got a few fundraisers coming up um, i know she sells merch as well um, but if any of you were still on your TTC journey and wanted to have someone to watch or even if you want to have an insight into what it's like definitely head over to her channel and watch her videos she seems so lovely I've not talked to her personally but um my heart goes out to her and her husband and you know like <sighs> I just really hope it happens for them soon and um, if I can get you guys to send some love her way and you know hopefully it will make some kind of a difference to her but yeah I just wanted to mention that in today's vlog so um, yeah I'm gonna head to the couch I've taken back the heated through rug from Coco because my back needs it and um we'll put on some umbrella academy and don't forget to check out squarespace.com i will have everything listed down below and you can use my coupon code to receive 10 percent off your website or domain so take advantage of that um but yeah stay tuned for the blog changeover it's crystalconti.com.au um i probably won't have it live by then because I've got to get it all together, um, but so far it's looking so good. I'm so happy and excited about it. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you next time. Bye.